Welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. I'm Omega X5000, and you might be wondering where I am. I'm back at the Zora's River place. I forgot the name of it already, actually. But we're here to pick up this rock and toss it aside. Thanks to the power of the silver gauntlets and drop down this hole that leaves behind only to find something weird is going on here not exactly sure what but invisible sculptures so let's use the bow to get rid of them all wasn't well, Abby you're being really chatty right now. Oops, turn off that lens. Looks like for someone who might know something about the other stages. Hmm, that's actually a bit of news for you, Navi. I was expecting you to be spouting off about going to the water temple next. Oh, shut up. <laughs> but anyway, we're off to get one of the last few sculptures that are outside of dungeons, actually. I can see it, Navi. You don't need to warn me. And... I forgot that has to be night. Duh. You know what? I'm just gonna jump out of here. Wait, where's the ground? Oh, it's over there. Wow. I thought that was deep water! Okay, let's head on into the Great Fairy's Fountain so I can reset where I pop out. So... And the rock is back, of course. There's a sculpture right here. Um... Now, I completely forgot that I had to have it be nighttime for. So let's try this again. Less failures. Even though I didn't really fail all that much previously, and maybe we can get in there? Maybe. 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 Come on. Quit jumping over the hole. Is it because I'm going at it from the corner? Okay. Let's try it from this side. Maybe. Perhaps? I don't know. Gah! Quit ju jumping over it! Oh, there we go. Oh, no, don't fall back out. Nope. Why do you auto jump over it? No, 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 no. Let go and fall down. You know what? Oh, magic. Just what I needed. Oh, and more arrows. You know, even though they're invisible, I can still target them. That's kind of funny, actually. Meaning that they are of no consequence. So I really didn't need the Lens of Truth, actually, to take out those invisible skull trolls. Okay, let's get back up on top of here and... Because we need to uh, get some things done today. We've only got one more er, uh, one more temple to take care of, and here's the last of the gold sculptures for this area. At least I hope it is. Is it? Yes, it is. And how many are we up to now? Ninety-four. There's one in Kakariko Village, and five in the final temple. Oh! Thought that was shallow again. Also, right here is a very weird, uh, scarecrow location. I don't know what this scarecrow location is for at all. It serves no purpose. It doesn't do anything practical. It's just there. And I missed. 
Yeah, there's absolutely nothing to get up here. It's just a nice view, I guess. But from a practical standpoint, absolutely nothing. Unless maybe you can see where there's a gap in the wall somewhere over there. Actually, I don't even see where that gap was. Oh, oh wait, now there it is. But let's uh, let's head on out to the uh, the to Kakarika Village because we've got some business to attend to there, and I'm swimming underneath this thing. Okay, let's uh, head back to the Temple of Light since that's gonna be the closest place to Kakarika Village that we can teleport to. Or, Temple of Time, not Temple of Light. <laughs> I keep on thinking that it's the Temple of Light just because you play the prelude of light in there to activate the song leading back here. That and... I don't know. And you pretty much teleport in a beam of light as well. But then again, that's just coincidental. I don't fear you, Reedheads. You're nothing to fear. Especially now that I have 18 or er, 19 hearts. So just a quick little trek across Cyril Field. Not gonna call Pona this time around, cause. We're almost there anyway. In fact, I think I parked Epona over by the entrance to the, uh, the path to Zoro's domain anyway. So I'm sure nothing surprising will be coming our way. Nothing at all. Okay. Who left the oven on while trying to cook s'mores? Come on, I know someone here did that and forgot to turn off the oven. Huh? Sheik? What are you doing here? Did you leave the oven on? Did you cause this place to catch fire because of s'mores? Get back, Tashui. Why? What's, what's going on? Did somebody try to make s'mores and it backfired? No, there were no s'mores. There never were. <gasps> so who's in charge of this campfire incident? You're so incompetent sometimes. Uh-oh. That's gotta hurt. Are you okay, Sheik? What the? What is that thing? Don't worry, Sheik. I'll protect you. No, wait, don't. Oh, ah, ow. Oh, weapons. Oh, no, wait. Stop. I swing. Oh, what was that? Looks like you're coming around. Teshui, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakariko Village, had sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. But the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke, and it escaped into the world. I believe Impa has gone to the Shadow Temple to seal it again, but she will be in danger without any help. Teshui, Impa is one of the six sages. Destroy the evil Shadow Spirit and save Impa. There is an entrance to the Shadow Temple beneath the graveyard behind this village. The only thing I can do for you is teach you the melody that will lead you to the Shadow Temple. 
This is the melody that'll draw you into the infinite darkness that absorbs even time. Listen to this. The Nocturne of Shadow. Oops. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. You have learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Tashui. Alright. Oh! Ah, oh, again with the Deku Nut. Eh. Well, at the very least, the village is no longer on fire. Is it still nighttime out? Yeah, I think it is, because none of the townspeople are out right now, and oh yeah, the moon's still up. So, there's one more gold sculpture left in this town that I forgot to get, actually. And it's very easy to get, too. In fact, it's right up there on top of that roof. In fact, I think I was up there earlier to get this one but I was in the wrong time period. So, it wouldn't appear then. And that makes all the gold sculptures that are outside of temples. So, yep, Kakariko Village is completely spider-free, and only five remain. So, Let's, uh, let's use that song that Sheik just told us, taught us, and enter the Shadow Temple. And I just botched it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Took three tries, but I got it. Warp to the graveyard. So yes, this is actually taking us to somewhere we've been already, but in an area that we couldn't get to. A much higher up area, mind you. We're right above the royal tomb. So, only one thing left to do here. Enter this place and... Whoa, what's with all these markings on the ground? Huh. I wonder if they mean anything. There's so many of them. And isn't that the symbol of the Sheikah? Well, in order to enter this place, we've got to use Din's fire. Wait, is that the Goron's fire symbol? Huh. Yeah, that's the symbol of the fire medallion, I think. Well, only one way to go now. Inwards. To the Shadow Temple. We're gonna be needing this for quite a lot of things. And I think this is pretty much going to be my inventory for now. There's lots of pits here, so don't fall. But that should be obvious. The shadow will yield only to one with the Eye of Truth, handed down in Kakariko Village. So yeah, you're pretty much going to be using the Eye of Truth, the Lens of Truth, quite a lot. 
throughout this place. Actually, I want to equip bombs in place of my arrows. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. So yeah, this place is somewhat of a labyrinth. Also, randomly these skulls will be gl have glowing eyes. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Something tells me that there was a war here that decimated many lives. What is hidden in the darkness? Tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. This place might be like the lingering regrets of a kingdom once fallen. But only one way to find out, really. Shadow Temple. Here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Uh, wait. Was there a hidden door that I just walked past? I don't see anything. Ah, here we go. And... Remember this? Yeah, Dead Hand is back. But... No, 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 cried, 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 I didn't want to do that. Stop grabbing my face. There. Yeah, dead hand. He's back with a vengeance. And he's actually somewhat easier to kill this time. Because he's got a new... He's pretty much got a new weakness. You can see where he's gonna pop up. And anticipate his movements with the lens of truth. So that you can actually figure out where he's hiding. Oh, jeez. And lure him out with bombs. Like so. Which pretty much also eliminates the necessity of having to have him grab you with his infinite hands. And kill him with ease. Seriously, that was way easier than it was as a kid. I guess this is one way of showing that Link has pretty much overcome his previous fears. Considering that thing was difficult to kill seven years ago. Not anymore. And you get the hover boots. With these mysterious boots, you can hover above the ground. The downside? No traction. You can even use these to walk for short periods where there's no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots! And yeah, we get the dungeon item right away. No map or compass yet, though, but I'm sure that'll come eventually. Man. Look at all these skulls embedded in the wall. Something serious is going on here. Is this where the royal family was really buried? One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. Yeah, not all of these things that give you a bit of preaching on the ways of old will be telling you anything new. Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. So, let's... Oh, jeez. Ah! Oh, wow. One hit kill on a redead. Okay, what is that flattering about? Oh! 
There, that takes care of that, and that's it for this episode of I Have a Heart of Over My Head. So, yeah. That's it for this episode of Let's Play A Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm OmegaX5000. See you in the Shadow Temple.